Hey folks, Jason Wygan here. This is the annual AIM Expo. This is essentially a dealer trade show, but really also an industry meeting house. And the times there are changing in the motorcycle industry. When we covered this show last year, we talked about a big push of entry level motorcycles to get new people on board. This year, one of the keys to me is this Moto Culture exhibit. In my mind and my heart, this is what the future of a motorcycle dealership should look like. Don't go buy coffee at Starbucks. Don't hang out at the bar. Hang out at your local shop. Talk motorcycles. Get your work done there. I like that culture a whole lot better than any other. So this is the Moto Culture exhibit, something cool that dealers can maybe think about for their own shop. And there's a lot of other cool parts here we're going to check out today. All right, cool new product here from our friends at JT Sprockets. We have Richard here. So this is a steel sprocket. It's self-cleaning, but weight and durability, it's kind of find like the sweet spot there. Correct. So this product took a full two years in development. Yep. Uh, the idea behind it would be to give the ultimate and lightweight with durability. Yeah. So you have a steel sprocket where much of the steel on the out part, outer part of the ring has been removed, which gives you a dual performance. Yep. So you have a lighter weight sprocket, very comparable with the, the dual metal sprockets, yep. very similar to aluminum in weight. It also reduces the profile at the belly of the tooth, which yep. makes it self-cleaning. There's no uh, shoulder there to trap dirt, so it releases the dirt. You also have the full width of the tooth. This gives you the durability that you expect out of a steel sprocket. Uh, so it's it's really the best of both worlds, and it's it's one of those designs that when you hold one of these in your hand, you're going to say, "Why didn't somebody do this 15 years ago?" Yeah. Uh, and and that's what the best innovations are the things that you look at it and you go wow nobody's done that before yeah it's the best of all worlds you're getting the low, low weight high durability and self-cleaning finally all in one yep and this uh additional performance on this is it's not powder coated it's it's actually black zinc plated oh, okay. so it's going to have a superior corrosion resistance because it's zinc plated so this this coating is going to survive longer than a baked on paint Good for people like, like me that never wash their motorcycles. Hey, we're here at the Bridgestone booth. We have the Irish lad. Okay, Rory, we'll talk tires in a second, but you right. raced for Team Ireland in the pit bike donations last weekend, and it was pure chaos, of course. Yeah, and it, it almost didn't happen. So, yeah. you know, Bite us had a vision like he does, mm -hmm. and uh, the crowd were really into it, like really, really into like it. Literally into it, like on the track yeah. into it. Yes. On the track into it, yeah. but it went ahead. It was a bit mayhem, but... Uh, it made it legendary, but yeah, I, I took part of that. But I'm glad you stressed that it was the pit bike donations. I did not ride for the motocross nations yeah. team. Yeah, well, you could be proud. Your your actual Irish team did get 14th overall. That's good for them. No B final. Let's talk Bridgestone tires. So, okay, there was a time when like every Supercross motocross race at the factory level in the U.S. Was dominated by Bridgestone. Now you're only involved really with factory teams in Japan now, but that doesn't mean you're not still developing tires all the time. Even though maybe the top American guys don't have it on the podium here. Yeah, that's correct. So we always been developing tires. Yeah. yeah, there was multiple seasons where in Supercross in the 450 class or 250 class as it was yeah. at one point. Yeah. Um, yeah, there was nobody on the podium that wasn't on a Bridgestone. Exactly. So, but yeah, we keep developing. Usually, when you see spy photos of next year's bikes from yeah. from Japan, yeah. there'll be Bridgestone stickers on the bike and Bridgestone yeah. tires. So, yeah, yeah, we've been developing the whole time and. You know, we've come up with a lot of technology over the years. We, you and me talked about castle block, cooling yep. fans, all this kind of thing. So it's all proprietary technology does. Okay, so the per consumer tires still putting in the effort, still putting in the R&D, and they look really cool too. So check yeah. those out. Yeah, that's a plus. Yeah, they look yeah. cool, but not only they look cool, they actually work. So Okay, yeah. Bridgestone, still at it. Yep. We have found our buddy Paul Parabinos here at Pro Taper, former championship mechanic and not a bad pro rider in his own right. Okay, what drew me in here, this is the actual Hunter Lawrence bike, fresh from Redbud, fresh with mud all over it. Yeah. And it drew me in, and then I noticed the sport line of products and a lot of other cool stuff. Yeah, yeah. So uh, we're here at the AIM Expo. We're excited. Yep. We do have Hunter's actual real bike. I told the guy, guys to leave it dirty for me, so okay. it's been getting a lot of attention. Yeah. This is the 450 killer yeah, from the was. weekend. So uh, yeah. that's been really cool. And, yeah, we're excited to show off all the – new products that we launched earlier this year. Um, we have our brand new clamp-on grip. Yep. Um, uh, we have our Pro Series chains, and we also have a new line of handlebar pads. We're calling our Raceline handlebar pads, and as well, the sub-brand that we launched yep. um, called Pro Taper Sport, which is our value price line. So a lot of, a lot of cool new stuff to show. 
Yeah. So value price, I like that. Clamp on, easy maintenance, easy installation, I like that. So they've got something for everyone over here, whether you're Hunter Lawrence level or just a guy like me. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, uh, to touch on our chains, our chains are forged racing chains. Nobody's forging a chain in the off-road market. Um, it is a light, lightweight chain, but also very strong. So um, we've dynoed them with the Geico guys. You know, I kind of nerd out on those stuff. I'm yeah. still a racer mechanic, so okay. um, I'm bringing all my kind of expertise and high level of uh, uh, my high level of you know of, of what I believe is correct and right to yeah. Pro Taper, and uh, really uh, just just love the brand love my job and um it's fun to be here <laughs> yeah absolutely it's vegas cool well heavy lies the crown of your 450 national champion so heavy that he apparently is now headless this is the kawasaki display and this is what's cool to get all these oems on board so kawasaki honda suzuki and yamaha are here with huge displays so you can check out all the motorcycles just like you could at your regular dealership just on a grander scale aim expo will be here saturday and sunday on consumer days if you're swinging to las vegas or monster energy cup you owe it to yourself to carve out a little bit of time and hang out with us here